Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Blog. In September, the District Court of Northern California reached a decision in the Epic Games vs Apple case that many have said is a victory for neither party, but nevertheless has some very interesting co consequences. So what does the recent decision mean? In August 2020, Epic Games brought a lawsuit against Apple challenging some of its practices and policies on the iOS App Store. One of the things alleged against Apple was that its rules mean it is operating an illegal monopoly. Epic argued that Apple's rules that require all apps to use the App Store purchase tool and Apple charging 30% commission for app sales is monopolistic. The dispute began when Epic issued an update to its Fortnite app on iOS that gave users an option to buy V-Bucks, Fortnite's virtual currency, directly from Epic allowing customers to avoid the App Store for iOS users. Apple's reaction was to delist Fortnite from the App Store. Epic said it wanted to set up its own storefront, but was restricted by Apple's rules. It also said it was obliged to charge its customers more for V-Bucks because of Apple's large transaction fees on the App Store. This has been a long-standing bugbear of developers against Apple and Epic said it hoped a decision in its favour would open the door for other developers to create their own storefronts. On the 10th of September, Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers issued an injunction that will now allow developers to provide links and information in their apps directing users to opt for payment, opt for payment mechanisms other than Apple in-app purchasing. She also stated Apple's anti-steering provisions hide critical information from consumers and illegally stifle consumer choice. However, as part of the same decision, Judge Rogers also said she could not conclude that Apple is monopolist and success is not illegal. Epic also had to pay Apple its unpaid royalties, amounting to some six million US dollars. The decision is thought to be an important turning point in the future of the gaming industry. It changes the landscape for app payments used on Apple devices. Apple maintains strict policies and rules for use of its platform and app store, partly, it says, to be able to afford a higher level of security. With app developers able to offer other payment mechanisms going forward, it seems possible that level of security can no longer be guaranteed. The decision is also being deemed a potential catalyst for future antitrust claims against big tech companies who may in future face increased regulation. If you'd like to know more about legal developments in the tech world, check out our blogs, blogs and white papers at kempitlaw.com.